This video is proudly recorded and produced on OpenBSD. Around a year ago, I have created a video showcasing or demoing to be more precise that I managed to get to Spotify, the free version running on the VMM and also having the audio on the OpenBSD. But I didn't create intentionally a video and going through the details of how to set things up because of two problems. The first problem was that the X11 forwarding was super slow and painful. And the second problem was that I, my SNDIO configuration had a problem and therefore the sound server was actually acting up a bit. And that means that on the host machine or the OpenBSD machine, I was losing sound constantly. Now, a year later, I had a chance to go through the problems again and revisit all everything. I managed to solve the problems for the X11 forwarding or having a graphical user interface application running. I use Zephyr that has acceptable speed and also for the SNDIO configuration, I got things sorted out and now we can actually have something a bit more usable. I have to give you a disclaimer here that this tutorial has a lot of steps and it may not work on all the Linux versions and it definitely doesn't work on any Linux shipped with the Pulse Audio newer than version 14. At least I tested it on Pulse Audio version 16 and 17. Things didn't work out. What's the process? Simply put, we put the SNDIO in the server mode and then we compile a module for the Pulse Audio that allows interfacing with the SNDIO server. And that's it. We are just playing song from that uh, guest machine or the VMM machine. And then the sound would be actually forwarded to the SNDIO server and we can hear it. This is the very distilled, oversimplified version of it. The devils are in the details. The first thing that we gotta do is to enable SNDIO to listen to the local network uh, addresses. So for that one, we have to use the dash L parameter. Let me just show you my configuration SNDIO flags, SNDIO D. And you can see actually the flags that I have, dash L, these stuff are irrelevant for you. You can specify in front of dash L the network IP address or better would be actually put in dash because most probably when you start your computer, the VMM is not running and if it cannot find the tab zero IP address, the SNDIO will crash. So if you put dash means that actually SNDIO server is listening to all the network interfaces and SNDIO actually does not have any sort of authentication and that means that if you are running this setting in a and connecting to a public interface if somebody is wants to be playful can compromise your SNDIO server but for your local network your home network that should be fine without much of problems how to set that flag is simple just type do as rcctl set SNDIO D flags and then put dash l space dash i'm not gonna to type enter here and also the next commands because i am recording on the same machine and if i restart my sndio the video would be actually broken so once you type that and then you need to restart your sndio your sndio will act as a server and client you can listen to any incoming request over the network and also works in your local machine. Now the next step is to have your VMM up and running. For that, we are going to showcase with the Debian Bullseyes. The version is very important. Bullseyes is version 11. The minor version doesn't matter. It does not work on the newer version of Debian. It doesn't work on the bookworm. As I said, if you have a Pulse Audio that is newer than version 14, it is not working. So I recommend you in case that you are very adamant and you want to have the sound on the VMM, use the Debian 11 bullseyes. So I do VMCTL status, my Debian is running, so I'm going to just SSH to that machine and let me do a neo fetch here. So Debian 11. Now what we gotta do is to install Pulse Audio because if you do the minimal install, usually the Pulse Audio won't be installed. Or maybe it would be, I am not entirely sure. But there is no harm in installing Pulse Audio again. So we do Pulse Audio 
and then it will install the pulse audio for us the next step is to enable the pulse audio on the system ctl user land so enable pulse audio service and then system ctl user start pulse audio service and then we have to enable the pulse audio socket and then start pulse audio socket if you run the system city and things didn't work out another workaround is that pulse audio dash dash start you can do that and then that will start the pulse audio the most important thing is that if you do pulse mixer here you should be able to open the program and it shouldn't give you the uh, server refused or fail to connect to the server and here for initial you will see dummy because it creates actually a dummy uh, sound interface for you but here if you see my configuration is already there and it connects to the sndio server now what we gotta do is to go to the repository this repository pulse audio module sndio this one is a pulse audio module that actually interfaces with the sndio server just to give you a bit of background uh, the effort that i put here i actually synced the pulse audio core header files the latest versions didn't work out i also updated the foot of the from the port also didn't work out so we have to settle on the pulse audio version 14 or below and this fork is nothing new the, the fork i created it just has more instruction and is a bit cleaner on the readme but on, uh, nonetheless i don't take credit of anything here i haven't done actually any what we gotta do we gotta first of all clone this repository so we just copy this and we go to the vmm tmp git clone you can just do wget doesn't matter what you do just get the code and then the next step is to download these dependencies this one may vary if you are using anything that is not debian and i don't guarantee you also it works on other other linux stuff it works on just one specific version of debian which some people may arguably and correctly say that this is very useless but nonetheless, you, you have a way to support uh, audio on VMM. Now that we installed all the dependencies, what you have to do, just type make and then sudo make install to install the SNDIO module for the pulse audio. Now we gotta enable that. So for that, sudo vim slash etc pulse default PA. The first thing is that we gotta find the idle and then disable it. This one by default is enabled. We are gonna disable it. We don't want the pulse audio to be suspended on idle. This may mess up the SNDIO server. Disable that and then we have to actually add these two lines at the bottom of the file. Load module module SNDIO device and this would be the IP address of the tab zero. How to get that? Just type if config and then what you have here is the ip address of tab zero tab zero this is the most important one and this one is a network interface that is created by the vmm on your host machine so put sndio at the ip address s slash zero this module doesn't have a recording capability so record false playback true and then we set it as a default sync so for example when we type pulse mixer the sndio sync would be the default sync so once you have done that, we need to restart the pulse audio on the user land. So don't run with the sudo systemctl dash dash user pulse audio service. Restart of course, pulse audio service. So we restart the pulse audio service. Now we have to do one more step, which would be absolutely odd for you, but we need to do that. And then that one is to copy the cookie from the host machine to the vmm what is that this is for the privacy reason apparently so if you go to the sndio man page here is mentioned that for privacy reasons only one user may have connections to the sndio d at a given time users are identified by session cookie which is automatically generated by audio or media uh, media programs upon the first connection to the server and here is mentioned later on that if a session 
needs to be shared between multiple users they can connect to the server using the same cookie so we are gonna actually do that because the host machine will be seen as one user and also the VMM would be seen as a separate user and if you don't do that you can just only uh, make a use of your SNDIO with one of those uh, things at the time we go to the SNDIO here and then we go to the guest machine mkdir-p SNDIO dot SNDIO so this one is you should create it under your user and here is on the OpenBSD machine, SCP cookie, and then VM, SNDIO, and it copied the cookie here. So if you go to SNDIO, we have it. So now our setup is complete. It's the moment of truth. We have to test it and see whether things working. So I go to the music directory. I'm gonna just play one song here and you should be able to hear it so this is from command line but we want to take it to the next level what's the next level next level is to be able to play a spotify from vmm and through the browser so meaning that if you have not subscribed to the spotify and you're using the free version you can actually play that on the openbsd of course after going through all these steps not perfect but it's doable so in the previous video i mentioned that how to do x11 forwarding using zephyr so we are gonna do that here also display 164.12 slash one this one again is the ip address of your tab zero and you need to have a zephyr server running as well so you do that i'm gonna just open the i make a mistake here and all right fantastic so now we have the iswm running here and i can actually go open the google chrome chromium by default in the debian doesn't have the drm support i recommend you to install chrome because firefox on vmm is super slow so now it's a moment of truth let's play it okay things working fantastically so again as i said the this solution has some limitation and the limitation is that you cannot get it work with the pulse audio version uh, 16 and 17 at the end of this video i would like to just make an offer if somebody managed to find a way to make it work with the newer version of pulse audio 16 17 or future versions please let me know i will update this guide and also just as a token of appreciation i will also donate 20 20 euros to that person who found the solution this is not a lot of money but also i don't make money out of this just i would like and encourage people to contribute more to the open source that's all for this video i hope you enjoyed it i want to thank all of the amazing patreon and coffee supporters your generosity and support means the world to me and keeps me really motivated to continue creating content. Thanks again for your generosity and contribution.